Hello and welcome. In this presentation, I will look at interest-only loans. And as the name suggests, interest-only loans are where you pay only the interest owing on the loan. That is, the principal never reduces. And in particular, we will be looking at the recurrence relation. And really, what you need to be aware of is this key fact. Our loan will increase due to an interest calculation and it will also decrease due to a loan repayment. If the increase matches the decrease, then we have what's called an interest only loan. So let's look at this particular situation here. Now, Bowen borrows $1,000 at a compounding interest rate of 5% per annum. He arranges to make a regular repayment of $50 per year. Now, if I set this up in terms of a recurrence relation, we notice that we would be increasing our, our, the amount owed by 5% every year. And now 5% of $1,000 will be $50. Also, we are reducing our outstanding balance by $50. So our payment equals the interest that's being charged. We have an interest only loan. Now, the maths is fairly straightforward and we'll go through an example. Now, Joy borrows $50,000 at 6% per annum, compounding monthly on an interest only loan. Calculate the monthly repayment Joy must make to cover her interest charge. Now, effectively, what I'm trying to say is my repayment, the D, must match my interest. So what I do is I go and calculate the interest. So D must equal, well, 6 divided by 12, well there's 6% compounding monthly, so there's 12 months in a year. So 6 divided by 12, divide by 100, then multiply that by 50,000. Effectively, Joy needs to pay $250 in interest. And she just needs to keep paying that month after month after month, year after year. And at the end of her loan, her last repayment will be the $250 interest plus the $50,000 which she originally borrowed. A very, very useful taxation strategy when you wish to minimise your tax. Now, this also can be calculated using your Finance Solver app on your calculator. All we're doing is considering one monthly payment. So you'll notice here, I'll have 12 payments per year, calculations per year, because compounding monthly, borrowing $50,000, it's a positive because that's what we received from the financial institution. Interest rate is 6%. As I mentioned, only one payment. I leave the 250 blank, then I hit enter, and I will receive my answer of $250. That's the payment that needs to be made for interest and interest alone. What you notice here, the future value is negative 50,000. So what that means, at the end of the loan, Joy has to pay back that 50,000. So until next time, Good maths and bye for now.